Hi everybody and welcome back. I wanted to post some brief instructions on how to safely delete uh, Linux Mint, in my case uh, safely delete Linux Mint 10 inside Windows 7. Now some of you might be thinking, dude, why would you want to do that? Well, if you are smarter than a fifth grader, the, the answer is why to install Linux Mint 11, of course, and since I generally don't believe in doing upgrades the downloadable way, I prefer to uh, s to uh, delete the previous version of the OS, in my case Linux Mint 10, and then and do, a, do a fresh install of Linux Mint 11. Okay, let's go straight to the uh, Total OS Today website, and you'll have to pardon me, I'm chewing on some, on some homemade cookies. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the forum safely delete Linux Mint inside Windows 7. 10 easy steps. This is what I do. In fact, I did this twice just to be sure and it worked perfectly. Okay, uh, let's start. Number one, install EasyBCD. Number two, write MBR. Number three, reboot. Should be okay to start Windows. Number four, right-click computer. Number five, highlight manage number six right click and delete non NTFS partitions only be careful not to uh, or be careful rather to save hidden partitions which can serve as a backup for an example my Lenovo desktop came pre-installed with an OEM hidden partition which I guess uh, serves uh, as a Windows Restore partition just in case I would trash the existing Windows 7 partition. Not, not all computers have it. Mine did. So watch for that. Alright, where were we? Uh, number 7. Right click and delete unused partitions. Uh, number 8. Right click and extend the volume in unused partition. Uh, number 9. Defrag. Number 10, ready to install another OS, such as Linux Mint 11 or Ubuntu or whatever flavor you choose, or just leave it. Uh, the last thing here uh, that I wanted to mention is don't forget to back up important data just in case something happens. It's never happened to me, but you never know. So once more, don't forget to back up important data just in case something happens. Use a flash drive, an external hard drive. I use both. Okay, I think that's it. Just some brief instructions on how to safely delete Linux inside Windows 7. That's it guys. Thanks for watching and as always I will catch you sometime in the future.